This movie presents examples of CNC woodworking combined with wood turning. The used lathe is a regular wood turning lathe and the CNC is conducted using a router high z CNC step 3 axis machine. We start by simple 2.5D CNC machining on plates and bowls. The CNC was conducted as a second step after a wood piece that first turned on the wood lathe. This first example shows a wooden plate with many small banana-like holes around it in a circle. The plate is made out of Indian rosewood. The cutter is a 3mm cutter that works its way down an inch hole in a Z-spiral motion. And here is the final and finished piece. A second example shows a similar plate, also made out of Indian rosewood. This time we have several parallel circles of small diamond shaped holes. Inch hole is again cut in a Z spiral down motion. Here again is the final and finished piece with five parallel circles diamond shaped holes. The third example is of a bowl with eight symmetrically similar ears. The final few seconds of machining, one of these ears is presented. And here is the final and finished piece. We continue to two and a half D cutting of deep bowls. In this bowl, eight setups were required to cut eight closed loops around the side walls of the bowl. This process starts with a bolt turn on a wooden lathe to create a facial silhouette. Eight holes are then three axis machined on the side in eight setups. And one of these setups is shown here. This time, a six millimeters tool is used in a Z-spiral down motion. Here is the final and finished piece from a general view. And here is the same piece from the side, showing the facial silhouette on the left and the right sides. A similar piece is shown here, this time with eight cuts of vase-like shapes that can also be seen as two silhouettes of two faces looking at each other. Here is the final and finished piece along with its cap that was similarly created. A first full three-axis machining example is of the Penrose Triangle. Penrose Triangle, a well-known model with a cycle of invisibility. Each one of the three edges of the triangle are hidden by one other triangle edge, while also hiding the third triangle edge, creating a, vi a visibility conflict. The tangible realization of this so-called impossible triangle is created using two setups, one for the top part and one for the bottom part. Here is the final and finished Penrose Triangle from a general view. Here is the Penrose Triangle heads-on revealing the triangle with a cycle of invisibility conflict. Here is the final piece again from a different general view. The next model is a famous computer graphics model known as the Utah Teapot. Here, the left half and the right half of the Utah teapot were machined independently, glued together, only to be turned and finished as last steps. This three-axis machining process was using a 6mm ball end cutter. You can see the circular body of the teapot machining. Now the spot of the teapot is machined. Now 
Now the body of the teapot is cleaned again. And now the handle of the teapot is three axes cleaned. Here are presenting the two left and right halves completely three axis machined. This picture shows the two halves glued together, mounted on a wooden lathe, after being turned to remove the inside on a lathe. And there is the final and finished Utah teapot along with its cap that was turned on a wooden lathe. Here is an additional example of a deep bowl with the wicker like top created using three axis machining. A 3mm bowl and cutter is used here in 3 axis machining to clip the top of the bowl, which is made out of olive tree. And here is the final and finished bowl with a top wicker style around the bowl. The next piece is another olive tree piece that was turned first on a wooden lathe, creating the top round cup and the bottom round base, only to three axis machine the middle neck using two setups, from above and from below. The middle neck is three axis machined to form the Star of David out of two Penrose triangles, intertwined together. We see from the side the second setup after the first setup is complete. A 6mm ball end cutter is used in this case in the two above and below setups. We now see the last few seconds of three axes machining the Star of David shape during the second setup from above. Here is the final and finished piece. And here are two additional views of the Star of David. The next model is an Indian rosewood piece that was again first turned on a wooden lathe forming the bottom base and the top cap. The middle neck is formed into two laces style knot and is three axis machined from the outside towards the center due to the delicacy of the knot. We see the last few seconds of machining the second setup, completing the three axis machining process of this piece. For this knot model, we also show the CNC three axis simulation conducted using the free simulation software NC Sim. We started with a stock transparent and now it is opaque. The toolpath display can be removed for better visibility of the final part. We now jump to the other side, making sure the knot is machined from the outside in. Here is the final and finished piece with two different views of the same model. The olive tree piece is also formed out by first wood turning the cup in the base, but now the middle neck here is three axis machined to create a real knot. In fact, the three axis machining was incapable of reaching all locations and manual carving was also required in this case. And here is the final and finished knot piece in two different views. 